kind of comfy. Oh. oh. This isn't working. How's that? We're back. Okay. Right, need to remember to look at this part of the lens. We are back. I'm on holiday. Sun is shining. I'm bored. Table is wobbly. Move back a bit. Woo! Right. On holiday in uh, Elveria, which is just outside of Marbella. I've had uh, what have been five days here now. Uh, like I said, get a little bit bored. Wife by the pool, thought I'd come and sneak off to the room and talk to you people because uh, cause I like doing it. And that's a bit of a change really, isn't it? Because four weeks ago I was uh, I did a video why I nearly quit YouTube, which, uh, yeah, strange things change very, very quickly in the world of YouTube, eh? And the change is largely down to, uh, to you people out there who are watching, which is one of the reasons why I'm doing this video. Um, the strangest four or five weeks since I started doing this whole thing because for whatever reason well there are probably a few reasons but it's just absolutely kicked off and that's the direction that the channel has gone in and uh, you'll all know that things like I said did that video then I chance meeting with someone moved to a different setup and backdrop in terms of where it was filming the uh, the product testing from and then we get the massive i say we the channel um all of us taggers we get the massive shout out from randy at fried eggs golf by where again he just drives people to our channel uh, which is incredible to think that he's doing that so again just think of how this kind of youtube um hierarchy if you like works so subscribers is everything more subscribers you got, you bigger you sit in the tree if you like, and uh, we're down this lowly bottom end and trying to get our way up the tree. And you got someone like Randy who Friday's golf channel, which has been doing really, really well, and he's been he's been at it a couple of years. He's producing some fantastic content, and then he takes time out to tell his subscribers to come and watch the T Upload channel, and it's a massive, massive boost in support. So we've got to be extremely grateful for that but also massively grateful to the people the subscribers the taggers the average golfers who support this channel and subscribe and watch videos and more importantly uh, well no not more importantly because not everybody likes to comment so i understand that uh, i appreciate the watches uh, very much so but the comments are great in terms of getting a direction in which to take the channel and i think that has been the key thing over the last four weeks that has changed in my head mentally so we did that um you know why i nearly quit and it was quit because of the kind of content i was producing i wasn't convinced i was kind of doing the right thing and uh i suggested that product videos and product testing from my perspective this average or our perspective average golfers uh, was the way in which to take the channel but in the weeks after that and the videos that I did after that it was incredible that we just got this massive boost in terms of viewing numbers all the comments and the likes have seemed to have all come at the same time I've gained and this is like the last 28 days I'm glancing down because I've scribbled down some notes there last 28 days 130,000 views 600 subscribers and, and that's an incredible boost to the channel and I said in that last video about how it's not a popularity contest, but, and it's a big but, you want subscribers to join in, you want people to watch, because obviously that's an indication that you're doing things right, and that the content you're putting out there is also being enjoyed and liked. So I'm really, really grateful, uh, really grateful. I'm not the most um, demonstrative of people in terms of uh things like gratitude i feel a little bit awkward saying thank you which is not good i know not a good trait to have but there it is that's me um but yeah i am really really grateful and like i said the comments have just directed us in, in such a way that i really feel like i've got a good focus on which way the channel is going the product testing that i did um on last week where we really looked at this players irons versus game improvement irons it was a different type of video it was something that was trying to take closer looks in sort of maybe traditional mindset on what things are important in these type of irons 
and maybe question um, if they were could be backed up factually. And that video's gone down for me. I really enjoyed making it. I wasn't too sure how it'd go down because I didn't know whether um, I didn't know whether I could sort of demonstrate with my. Because don't forget, I'm very limited in my knowledge. I suppose I'm no expert by any means, but I interpret data again very much like you would do if you went for a club test and that's how i want to relay it back as well i don't want to ever things for things to get really really over complicated and bogged down in stats but if we can uh, if i can identify with you what i'm seeing in numbers and, and feed that back and it makes you helps you make informed decisions when you're buying clubs then i think that that's really good that's that for me is really working and in this last video the interaction in terms of comments was fantastic because you'll get some people who buy into it 100% and say yeah this is all fantastic you'll get some people who say ah yeah but what about this what about that and then you'll get I got a lot of people who are having conversations within the comments with each other and it's just brilliant just to scroll down and to see people talking about having a conversation about the content that you just produced and that was brilliant absolutely brilliant to see um, and again the thing that it does the comments gave me sort of guidance as to okay right so you're saying this and yeah I understand what you're saying this is what I need to do next and this is the way I need to try and take the channel and that's what it's helped with um, so I'm going to really try and get in some the on-course testing is an undoubted thing that people want to see so it's kind of like yes uh, dry ball data is great to see but there was a clear uh, message that you want to see testing um, out there on the course and I'm going to do it the problem that I have I'll be perfectly honest with you is that how it works for me at the moment is that I'm on the radar in terms of a few manufacturers in terms of they send me the product direct for a number of other companies manufacturers golf brands I'm obviously referring to I'm not quite on their radar. I don't, again, this hierarchy of um, uh, of where you sit in YouTube means that I'm a little bit down the list. So what I'm trying to do, and I must admit again, this is where your support is massive, is that people are seeing that we're getting good views, we're getting good interaction, we're talking to average golfers and they're talking to us and it's great for the manufacturers to see and they're sitting up a bit and taking note. So we're definitely getting to a place where, and I'm hoping that, just had a message from Titleist that I'm looking to get a whole range of clubs in terms of um, the irons of these AP1s, AP2s and AP3s that will allow me then to take the testing that we did um, inside at 4Golf out there onto the course and we can look at some different scenarios and see what happens in sort of real time if you like uh, in a real environment so that's something I'm going to definitely be doing my best Bear with me, like I said, I need, the, I need the product to be able to do it, but it seems that it's going to happen. Um, after that, it's really then I'm working on building something in where I work in my office. I've got limited space, but I'm trying to get a little bit of an indoor area built. Um, again, it'll be on a limited budget, but I've got a feeling I can put something together to get an indoor hitting area which I can use Skytrack and what it's going to allow me to do in the main is some ball testing because at the moment uh, that's difficult to do in the driving range I can't go whacking endless amounts of brand new balls down a driving range that may never get recovered it's too expensive to do so I've got no real facility at the moment that I can do ball testing I think that's a real interesting one for me uh, for, the, for us average golfers is the obvious thing is sort of you know where does is that from the from the uh, economy end right up to the premium end how much difference does it really impact on the performance uh, and the scoring capabilities of players like me and you and i'd like to do that in some great detail so i'm trying to build this area it might not come off hopefully keep your keep watching and uh, hopefully in the next few weeks i'll have an update on that and uh, we may do something um on ball testing during these winter months anyway waffled on might be the best of videos but uh the trouble is with this youtube as well it's very addictive and uh, a week's holiday i'm lying on a sunbed and drinking 
whatever beer and god knows what else and, and, and it just gets to a point where you think uh, my head starts to turn I think I know I need a quick chat with the average golfers and uh, give them a bit of an update on where my mind is at right now so I hope it did that as ever thanks for watching uh, this should go out if all goes well this will be uh, Monday night um, 8.30 UK time and uh, I'll have been in for golf uh, this morning some more product testing and some videos out later on this week so listen thank you very much for your support as ever appreciate it comments down below anything you can think of and if you've got some ideas for the channel once again i've asked this before uh if you've got ideas and directions that you want to see or any particular things you want testing maybe a bit uh you know off the scale in terms of what we've done or what's the standard being done i'd love to uh hear from you and uh, i'll do my very best to uh, try and do something with the comments and as ever, I always try and reply, although this week I've tried to stay away from it and uh, pay a bit more attention to the wife than YouTube. But anyway, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you very, very soon.